So I'm very excited to make this recipe with you. It's a very contemporary version of that ancient Mithridatian recipe that we've talked about. So we're gonna take these beautiful citrus peels. We're gonna take the skin off these citrus. We're gonna get uh, the peel of a grapefruit. So again, those lovely monoterpenes from the skin, those antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, digestive stimulating oils from the skin of the grapefruit. So we're gonna peel that get all those beautiful volatile oils you can smell that it's fantastic very vibrant oils coming off the grapefruit and then also we're going to peel the zest of one lemon take care with your peeler take the whole skin off obviously post taking the skin off you can then juice these don't waste them you can get some delicious juice from the lemon and the grapefruit so you're gonna have a peel of one lemon and one grapefruit fantastic after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out black peppercorns so you've got six grams of black pepper we're gonna measure that And then in here we have our dried bitter gentian root. We're gonna add three grams of gentian root. You gotta be careful with gentian because it is extremely bitter. And then in here we have chamomile flowers. So we want eight grams of dried whole chamomile flowers. So again, a nice gentle bitter, some of those nice stomach and digestive calming constituents that you would find in the chamomile. So I'm going to add that in there. And that's eight grams. And once you've got those three ingredients in there, the dried chamomile flowers, dried gentian root, black pepper, six grams of black pepper, three grams of gentian root, and eight grams of chamomile. We've got some freshly boiled water, so we're gonna just put a hundred grams of freshly boiled water in there. Perfect. And I'm just gonna give that a little stir. And what we're gonna do is just steep those together in that hot water. Gonna steep that for about two, three minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get my blender. And then we're gonna add 30 grams of fresh ginger root. Perfect. Our red grapefruit and lemon zest. We'll just tear that up. And then you, some raw, unpasteurized honey. Best to use local honey, so 300 grams. That's the whole jar of this jar. If it's a bit cold, you can warm the honey up. And by warming it up, don't heat it too vigorously because you don't want to destroy the nutrients and the minerals in the honey. So just warm it up gently and so you'll have an easier pour. And so you can empty the contents of the honey more easily into your blender. So they're just going to pour all that honey out. Fantastic. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit left. Don't waste it. You can eat, I'm going to lick the jar a little bit later. And so after this has been sat here for two, three minutes, what I'm going to do is empty that also into my blender. So that's the gentian, the black pepper, and the chamomile. All those lovely volatile and aromatic compounds out. Fantastic. Put the lid on the blender. 
And then we're going to just blend that for 30 seconds or so. blending about 30 seconds or so okay what I'm going to do now is just add a couple of drops of this is a cinnamon co2 ext extract now it doesn't matter if you can't get the cinnamon co2 extract um, I've given you the recipe um, for you you know with that without the co2 extract you can use sort of dried Ceylon cinnamon too and so I'm just going to put a couple of drops in there. It's very powerful, very, very pungent. And then we're also going to add four drops of an allspice CO2. And again, don't worry if you can't get the allspice CO2. You have the recipe where you can use whole allspice spice. Two, three, four. And I'm just going to blend that again. Fantastic. Now what you're going to do, once all of this is blended together, we're going to get an empty clip top sealable glass jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to empty the contents of this into the glass jar. Wonderful, beautiful aromas coming off here. That spicy cinnamon, those monoterpenes from the citrus peel, those beautiful notes from the chamomile, all coming through. So this is very pungent and very powerful. So I'm gonna put this into the glass jar. Okay, making sure nothing is wasted using a spatula for this process and look I'm making a bit of a mess so I'm just going to tidy these edges up here and then we're going to seal that but we're going to seal that and then you're just going to leave that you're going to leave that for at least four weeks you can leave that for at least a month, one full cycle of the moon, help with that extraction process. You can leave it for longer than four weeks. In fact, you can, use, you can leave that for years. You could leave that for six months. You could leave it for three months. Um, it just gets better and better. So yeah, we're just gonna leave that and macerate it. So I'm just trying, mmm, touch of the Mithridatium. Mm super warming, spicy, vibrant, all those lovely spicy notes coming through is delicious. So when it's ready in a two, three months time, one month, four weeks at least, strain it through a cheesecloth, muslin cloth, and then bottle it and seal it and label it, obviously. So what are the properties of this Mithridatium? How do we use it? This is a versatile recipe. It can be applied to a variety of preparations, which we will touch on later. It's a bitter aromatic, it will stimulate digestive function, which means it's a great warming digestive, great after food, excellent in a teaspoon in a mug with hot or warm water, contains lots of plant secretory metabolites, including the monoterpenes, particularly from the citrus skins. So excellent antioxidant, fantastic anti-inflammatory actions. Then we've got all those lovely spices that I mentioned. So we've got the cinnamon, we've got the allspice, we've got the fresh ginger. So the ginger brings a warming peripheral circulatory stimulant action. Then we've got the ginger, gentian and citrus, gives us those immunomodulating antiviral, antibacterial properties and potential. So many pungent aromatics give us sort of exper expectorant and respiratory tonic potential. So the mithridatium really adds warmth, fire and heat, but it's balanced with those lovely calming digestive actions of the chamomile. Great 
directly off the spoon or as mentioned infused in botanical beverages, potions and tonics. We'll be working on more of these very shortly. So that's your Mithridatium 1.0 Pacific Rim version. <laughs>